considering uh, calling Donald Trump Jr. to go before their own committee, as well as the uh, the attorney, the Russian attorney, making the point that she had overstayed her visa. How did that happen? So they would really also like to get all of the members involved in that meeting before their committee as well. And it's something that he says they're currently negotiating. He does not want to step on the special uh, counselor Bob Mueller's investigation. That is a sensitivity. So that is something that is currently in the works. Also asked him as well about what are the top things that you'll be asking Christopher Ray, of course, uh, in that hearing that's coming up in about 25 minutes. And a couple of things that he said. First, as you know, independence uh, from the White House, from this president, is key. It is the most important thing here. He also said that he wanted to make sure that this was an FBI director that would protect whistleblowers, that that has been an ongoing issue, an ongoing problem uh, in the previous uh, directors. And then some general questions here, of course. What, what are the other senators going to be asking? Uh, they're going to be looking for whether or not there was any kind of loyalty test, if you will, for Christopher Wray. We do know that previously from James Comey. He has said that the president uh, wanted this pledge, asked him this pledge. He also says that uh, President Trump had asked him to end or suggested to end the investigation of a former NSA chief, Michael Flynn. That is something that is also going to be of consideration. So those are just some of the things that we expect. Uh, the format is going to start with uh, opening statements, and then each one of these senators on committee will have about 10 minutes to question in the first round, and then five to seven minutes to question in the second round. It is going to be an ongoing affair, but Chuck Grassley, Senator Grassley, hopes that this can be wrapped up and confirmed before the August recess. This is on Mavo on the Hill. Again, that hearing getting underway in just moments. Let's bring in our panel as we wait for it. Jeff Zeleny is back, along with our Nima Malika Henderson, our senior political reporter. Asha Rangafa is with us, CNN legal and national security analyst and former FBI special agent, as well as Michael Zeldin, CNN legal analyst and former special assistant to Bob Mueller at the Department of Justice. So nice to have you all here. Nia, let's begin with the word of the day from the White House, and that word is transparency. Nothing to see here. We have been fully transparent. If you look back, it's anything but the case. The Saturday statement that didn't uh, disclose the purpose of the meeting from Donald Trump Jr. was now reviewed, we've learned from the New York Times, by the president himself. They had to change that drastically by Sunday. The message Sunday was Jared Kushner and Paul Manafort had no idea about this meeting. That was not the case. They were forwarded this email with all of the information about the meeting. That's a low bar for transparency, is it not? It is a low bar uh, for transparency, and, and that is what we heard from the president, sort of praising his son uh, for being transparent. He tweeted again uh, saying that he felt like his son was open uh, and honest in his interview uh, last night as well. But what we've seen here is really, uh, you know, sort of rolling disclosures about uh, about this meeting uh, and shifting stories uh, from Donald Trump Jr. about why that meeting happened, this idea that it was about adoptions in those initial emails that we've seen, uh, at least part of those emails. We don't know that we've seen all all of uh, the emails about uh, these conversations that he had uh, with that Russian government lawyer, uh, but there was certainly in those emails that we've seen so far uh, no discussions mm -hmm. uh, about uh, the meeting being about adoptions. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I mean, in, in many ways you feel like this could be the tip of the iceberg, right? I mean, this is uh, one set of emails. Were there or were there previous discussions that we don't have those emails? Uh, were there uh, subsequent discussions uh, about any of this? I, I think from the White House's point of view, and certainly Don, uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s point of view, he wants this to sort of be uh, an, an, put to an end with that interview uh, that he had last night. It's certainly the, the sort of public relations part of it, uh, but certainly the legal uh, discussions of this will be ongoing with the special uh, prosecutor and certainly on the Hill as well, mm -hmm. uh, more discussions about this. And you can imagine uh, that there might be more information to come. Uh, John McCain has talked about this whole episode uh, as a centipede, a centipede with, right. with 100 legs and many more shoes uh, to drop. So we'll see uh, what happens going forward. Yeah. It's got a disclosure at gunpoint. Now, Asha, you know, Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort, the President of the United States, are all of their interests aligned right here. They all now have their own lawyers giving them their own advice. It seems to me there might be some conflicts here, especially given what Evan Perez is reporting. You know, Jared Kushner, aside from the president, the only one now in office who had to fill out these security forms. Sure. Their interests aren't aligned. I think this has, it, it's been on a collision course for a while now. Um, all of these people should have lawyered up a long time ago. I was actually surprised that Donald Trump Jr. only recently got his lawyer because a lot of the statements that he made were very unwise. 
uh, from a legal